Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Guard 3. So yeah, let us continue. Unfortunately, I did record this and it kind of, you know, died on me. Uh, seriously, this recording software is, is good. I will give it that. It's pretty good, this recording card, but it seems to like crashing. I don't know why, but sometimes, every so often, it just decides to crash at the end of a video. I would love it if it did it at the start, but no, it decides at the end the best time. <sighs> but what can you do? My name is Mikhail, my name is Mikhail. I really love me some Z-Ero. I'm not a stinky dragon, nor am I a dirty dragon. Hop on my back and let's go for a ride. Yay! Do, 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 do. It's time for verse two. My name is Mikhail. My name is Mikhail. I also love me some rotten meat. Give me praise, give me praise, give me praise, give me praise. Tell me I'm the bestest. Hop on my back and let's fly through the sky! Yay! Hey. Huh? There better not be a third verse. What? Sing again and I'll kill you. Fine. <laughs> up ahead! I can feel the sun up ahead! You sure? I didn't think three could fly. I can feel it, you know? She's here! I know it! Come on. There we go. Unfortunately, I, as I said already, tried to record this and it didn't feel visually. So, yeah, that's upsetting to say the least. There we go. Ugh, come on. Oh, I did so much better the first time around. That's fine. Come on. Learn how to aim in space. Jeez. Uh, Lady Zero, how does it look up there? You mean other than the goddamn gargoyle cubes? Gargoyle cubes? What's wrong? Those cubes require massive amounts of magical energy to operate. It's highly doubtful that you think you have the power of the There must be some kind of power source nearby. <laughs> of course there is. Of course! Of course, Zero. Of course. Okay. Ow. You guys never had to have it easy after all. And coincidentally, we are the closest thing to good guys here. So, you know. When I say good guys, they pretty much mean us. And that's about it. the cursor separates when you're not allowed to move. Three! Redeem thyself, Azrael! Don't worry about it. Oh. It's gonna be fine. 
But Zero, he's... It's gonna be fine. But... Have I ever lied to you? Well, no. I mean, you all stabbing and angry and stuff. But no, you never lied to me. See? So trust me. I'm here with you, and it's going to be okay. Um, okay. Repeat it. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. Fucking it. This guy sure loves running away, huh? Stupid bastard. Stand still and fight me, shit hog. So yeah, ancient dragons. Ow! <laughs> Good job, me. Just panic in the middle of trying to dodge. I was like, hey, I'm just gonna crew myself in the corner. Yeah, great idea, space. You get, you really got this one. here I had Octa give me a boost <laughs> that's kind of amazing you appear to be in some trouble yeah I can't hit this twitchy son of a bitch leave it to me my angel holds the power to slow down his movements by a considerable degree sounds great get on with it but if I use such power, I'll go back to being a bird. Oh, your lack of pity is intoxicating. What? You want to call it off? You deny me this pleasure? No. I must do this. It is my reward. <laughs> Still love that he has to grab his crotch for that. I'm just imagining he's crushing his own balls, that's all. If he has any left at this rate. That's a disturbing thought. Let's move. Three. Oh, hey, Liz. Crazy or anything? No. I'm a-okay. I guess you were kind of crazy to begin with. <laughs> Let's see. Check it out. I summoned an ancient dragon all by myself. What the hell are you yammering on about? It's a flower's voice at work. See? I'm just like you! <laughs> the three I know isn't as cheery. Oh, really? So I'm just... Just a raven hiding in the veil of night. Just a skeleton beneath the waves. I want to die. Oh yeah? I can arrange that. Just kidding! I've got an ancient dragon on my side. Remember? Now it's your turn to die! Well, unfortunately, I will not play. So yeah, your turn. Not me. Ow. Well, that is going to be important. Right, there we go. You know what? Let's just you can. Uh, I really do like the music, though. I know I keep saying. But come on, like, when you activate the owner mode, then you get the bolt attack. Harry on top, ah. Oh. Come on. Oh. 
oh, I really don't like this section. It's just full of heli, but alas, those little tiny pellets don't do much damage at all, honestly. There we go. Excellent. And so we effectively uppercut it in the face. We did it! Yeah. One to go. Oh yeah, but you missed me finally getting the Platinum Trophy. Which was kinda sad. I was like, oh. Okay, well... Huh. <laughs> that happened. I was actually really amazed that it happened. I was like, oh, wait, what? But alas, I will leave it there. So until next time, all the best, and I hope you enjoy the weapon stories. Sing, sing, sing. Let me sing, let me sing. Of the seas, of the skies, of my hopes, of my prayers. Spin, spin, spin. Let me dance, let me dance, let me dance. Happy dances, beautiful dances, sad dances, ugly dances. <sighs> let me gasp, let me gasp, let me gasp. In the rain, in my dreams, in battle, in sheer ecstasy. Prick, prick, prick. Let me stab, let me stab, let me stab. In your skin, in your eyes, in your tears, in your screams. Ah, you have a fine eye for quality, sir. This sword comes from a far off land. Know you the tale? A young man slew a horrid beast and grew so renowned. The king became mad with envy. The king sent him on an impossible quest, and a young man fell to the very monsters he was meant to slay. His sister pleaded for his remains, but all she received was his sword. The sister became the king's mistress, and then she used the sword to murder him before turning it on herself. And now the blade is used to exact revenge on... Sir? Are you okay? What's with that sword in your hand? Revenge, you say? But... But I'm just a weapons merchant. My sword didn't kill your family. It's just a blade. Just a... No! Stop! Ah! It was a blessed land, a paradise with endless resources, that guaranteed peace and prosperity for any nation. Men had fought each other over it since time immemorial. The king fought for the promised land at the cost of his nation's health. With disease ravaging him, he asked his son how this could truly be the promised land. Why were people willing to sustain bloodshed for the sake of a land? If it is truly blessed, why had it been the source of so much senseless pain, loss and hatred? The old king breathed his last. As the prince sat silently by his coffin, he swore to a silent oath. What story would he weed once he became king? Ah, that is a tale for another day.